Hey guys, Chad Hoover, Kayak Bass Fishing. Let me talk to you today about another one of my acronyms that helps you remember stuff to catch more fish. All right, so this one should be pretty easy to remember if you just look at me. This acronym is called FAT. That stands for Forage, Activity Level, and Temperature. So in the spring transition, when you're trying to find fish, the first thing you gotta do is find the forage or the food. So that F is easy to remember. If you can find the forage and you can find the food, you're gonna find the fish. Then you figure out how to catch them by gauging the activity level. Are the fish active? Are they dormant? Are they aggressive? Are they not too aggressive? Are they lethargic? And that'll determine how you fish for them. So first and foremost, you gotta find them. Secondly, you gotta figure out what to fish and I figure out what to fish by the activity level. If birds are waiting, if bait fish are flickering, if they're swimming, if I'm seeing topwater blow ups, if I'm seeing boils, I'm going to be power fishing. Buzz baits, spinner baits, crank baits, chatter baits, things that are fast moving. If everything's dead, I'm going to be fishing a lot slower. A jig, a worm, a creature bait, a Texas rig plastic, things like that that I'm going to pinpoint and put it in the place where the fish are. And then the last thing in the T to make the FAT acronym is temperature. And temperature should be thought of in a dynamic way. Here's what I mean by that. In the beginning of the spring, a lot of people continue to fish deep. And they think that the fish haven't moved shallow yet because of the overall water temperature. The problem is, if you don't think about water temperature as a dynamic thing, meaning how it varies through the course of the day and how it varies through the progression of the season, then you're going to miss um, finding fish early when other people are finding them early, and you're going to stay on that deeper pattern, that winter pattern, longer than you should. Here's the reason that temperature is dynamic. In the spring, a lot of times, uh, the shallow water is going to warm up quicker because there's less uh, mass uh, to, to change the temperature in. And even in deeper water, a lot of times people don't think about the fact that the upper portion of the water column is going to heat up first. So if I go fish flooded timber and it's really sunny and it's early in the spring, late winter, early spring, whatever you want to call it, and the water temperatures are still pretty cold, uh, I like to fish in the upper part of the water column, spinner baits, uh, shallow running crank baits, wake baits even, uh, slow rolled um, uh, chatter baits up in the tops of the trees, adding a bulky trailer to move them a little slower because those fish have moved up into the upper part of the water column. I'm also going to fish the northwest corner of a reservoir, the northwest side of a creek channel bank, and that side that's going to get the sun first, and that side that's got the darker wood on it or the rock that's going to absorb that heat and put it back into the water column as the sun goes down, that's where those fish are gonna position themselves early on. So it's kinda like, you know, the best analogy I can think of is people moving around the house to find, you know, the heaters, to find, to get away from the drafts and things like that. And so early in the season, uh, you know, all year long, food, oxygen, and temperature are the big deal. You don't have to worry about oxygen too much. So the FOT acronym that I've talked about in the past isn't as much in play because most cold water is super oxygenated, so you don't have to worry about it. But food and then activity level and then temperature. I think the food positions the fish, the activity level determines how you're gonna catch them. Uh, and then the temperature, if you think about it in a dynamic situation, as a dynamic uh, variable, is going to change where you find those fish in that particular area. So try to find the water that's warming the quickest. Try to fish the right lure at the right time, depending on the activity level. But find the forage, find the food first. Uh, remember the FAT acronym, and you'll, uh, you'll end up with a lot fatter sack at the end of the day. So anyway, little simple tip. I know that it sounds like common sense, but I think it's something that people overlook. So think about that FAT acronym, F-A-T, food or forage, activity level, and then temperature as you're making that transition from spring from winter fishing into spring fishing and then follow that same trend on into summer and you'll put a lot more fish in the boat. I'm Chad Hoover. Hope you like this type of video. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel smash that subscribe button and uh, hang around for a while. Watch one of these other videos over here. Maybe you'll like those better or worse or maybe you just want to see more of me. So either way just watch one of these videos over here. 
and then hit that subscribe button that's somewhere around here. <laughs>